All right, so it's day three of the rookie camp and things have been going pretty well. I've been looking on Twitter, seeing clips of some drills, um, some nice like, you know, half ice kind of games going on, some cool goals that I've seen, just like some nice stuff going on, like all around from like multiple rookies. Like they're all working super hard as you'd expect and it seems to be going pretty well. So the reporters that I've been looking at have just kind of been talking about how like the typical people that we had mentioned before, like Othman and Sykora are uh, doing pretty well and um, they're just like, on top of it. Offman's being his physical self, but also being very skilled. So like, that's really nice to see. Overall, they're grinding and looking good. So everything's good in that department. No one's um, doing bad. A notable thing that uh, I neglected to mention in the last video is that Niles Lundqvist is um, not gonna be showing up to the camp or he's not going to the camp. And he also said that he's not going to be uh, reportedly going to the main training camp as well. So he's pretty much sitting at home and requesting a trade. So we'll probably be seeing a trade uh, coming up from him real soon, but um, you know, it also might not be because Drury's probably in no rush to really make this move. So it, it might be dragged on for a bit, but either way, it seems that we're probably going to see him traded. Kind of reminds me of the um, Leos Anderson situation. I think it was kind of somewhat similar, like he was kind of mad about going down to the minors. So um, just kind of wants that, that top play. I mean, he could have fought for it at this time, but he's probably just like, I'm done with it. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I think Niles Lindquist is a great player, but honestly, like, um, from what I've seen, like, I saw Zach Jones perform a lot better, and, um, you know, Schneider obviously plays a lot better, so, you know, you gotta earn it, and I know it can be a little irritating and frustrating, but, you know, the Rangers, especially with such a competitive and great young core right now, it's, you really gotta fight for your spot, so, you know what, maybe that's why, maybe he understands everything and he just wants out of there, but either way, <clears throat> he was kind of irritated about not being, um, on more top line more consistently or whatever you want to say and so he's requested that trade so he's back in europe he's just going to be chilling there until he gets traded apparently so we'll keep an eye on that uh, back to the rookie camp situation though yeah so everything seems to be going well all the typical people are standing out so forth some notable things that's starting to happen um is tomorrow we have the first game that's going to be against the flyers um i'm actually i have to look into it a little bit more seeing if they're playing more games other than a second game against the flyers but that's definitely what's occurring that'll be really cool the the rangers are not going to be broadcasting that um but the flyers are going to be broadcasting that so if you have access to nbc sports philadelphia plus it's NBCSP plus then you can go ahead and watch the rookie game so um, I'll try to like see some clips that come up there put them together and uh, we'll talk about that after those games happen but that's gonna be really cool uh, some noteworthy things from that is that the captain of that Ranger squad that's gonna be playing against Philly is gonna be Zach Jones so that's pretty cool. Seems like he's definitely, you know, really standing out. I think Zach Jones played really well. He kind of, with his skating ability and his like versatility, kind of reminds me of like Adam Fox vibes. So I feel like him polishing up his game, he has a lot, a lot of potential to be really well in the NHL. So the fact that he's doing super well kind of seems like he's um, in the top percentile for to fill that sixth spot uh, on the Rangers D-man roster this year. I mean, I would be super happy about that. I don't think anyone would be mad but um you, you know mainly just because like he's put in his time and uh, of course we want to see like the younger people but like zach jones is really good and he's just been making that climb to where it really seems like you know this is his time so we'll see if he keeps that up we'll we'll watch how it goes uh we'll see some more isolated play for sure with these rookie games especially because they're being broadcasted so uh we'll definitely see like good angles and um good you know again like the individual looks so we'll see who else stands out again you know things are still up for grabs uh spots and uh, maybe not necessarily with the D, but on the O. So we'll see what happens. Either way, that's the state of the rookie camp. Everything seems to be going well. We got a game tomorrow. Uh, again, that's on NBCSP+. And yeah, I'll be looking at some clips after it's over and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching and take care.